I was, it was great, man. You know, this is time to reflect on everything. You know, it ended, it ended too soon. Uh, that's what I'm going to say about the whole, whole experience. Um, I think the year, you know, we set ourselves up to be Western Conference champions this year. And <clears throat> heading into the playoffs, you know, we was playing such great basketball, and then we have a, a fluke injury. And, you know, it's part of sports, but, you know, you never want to think it's going to happen to you or your, or your team. And, you know, I feel like that's how our season will be looked at now. It's, a, it's more like a what-if season. <clears throat> Um, now always from the outside looking in, I knew it was a it was a great place. But actually, when I got here, it turned out to be a special place. You know, with the how the fans are, with the players, um, just how the teammates were with with one another, how the coaches went about their <clears throat> their business on the court. Those players making sure. We had everything in front of us to be successful. Uh, that's something that I learned not to take for granted because I've never been in a situation like this. So, you know, all in all, it was it was qu it was quite a joy. What about your future now, Kevin? Just be blunt. You know, I don't think Thunder can offer you close to what you've been making because yeah. of economics. <clears throat> What's your thought on? Whether, how much you're willing to stay and play for? Or? Um, I think, you know, this is a place where I'd love to be. You know, I had just had a great talk with Sam and Scotty that that I'll keep between between us three right now. But you know, it's going into a territory I never I never been been in with being an unrestricted free agent and. You know, going to have some options out there, so I just have to, you know, to see how the process plays out. How do you how you deal with is this? Your first time to do that, where getting what you can get, but getting what you think. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not at a I'm at a point in my career where <clears throat> I don't need to get what I can get. You know, it's more of happiness and. Looking back on this experience, you know, I've been on both sides of the fences, you know, being on a championship caliber team and being on a team trying to make it into the playoffs. So I have, so I can have, a, I have a vision of what I want my career to, career to be. And the main thing is happiness and being a part of something special. Oh no, not at all. I think it's just got gotten stronger. Um, you know, it's been such a such a good ride. You know, I met some incredible people along <clears throat> along these past six months, and incredible teammates. And I think you know, I would love to have this opportunity again. But we'll see what the what the future holds. Um, they have decisions to make. I have decisions to make. But I think we all have a clear mindset of what each situation can bring. In an, uh, in an odd way, the fact that you, it did end too soon, you did fall short, the, the freak injury to rest, mm -hmm. do you view it, could you possibly view it as unfinished business and finish the job? Yeah, it's definitely a chapter that's unfinished just because of the injury that went down. You know, we don't want to put everything on an injury, but for it to happen at the time it happened um, to the type of player that it happened to, you know, we really, <clears throat> we really lost the, lost the vision of when we got the news and that morning before game three. Um, and it was an adjustment period where we were just out there. We were just playing basketball. <laughs> you know, we lost a guy that that has the keys to our car, <clears throat> for say. But um, so 
It's definitely a chapter that's that's definitely unfinished. Kevin, they're only 24 years old and have pretty different styles. But what stood out to you about Kevin and Russell as leaders? I think the way they approach the approach the game. Uh, most people don't start to realize how to approach the game and the importance of having a great NBA career until you're 28, 29, where you learn from veterans. And for them guys to, I seen it firsthand when I got traded here, you know, the next day, two days before the game, and we had practice at 11 and they was here at 8 a.m. Like you, you don't see that too often. There's nobody, there's nobody else doing that, doing that in the league. So for them to do it at such a young age and kind of teaching themselves and or learning together, um, you know, it's it's something that everyone around here is going to enjoy for years to come, and it will eventually bring bring them a championship. Uh, you know, I'm still so emotionally wrapped up in the season right now. I, I don't know how I'm going to be, you know, two weeks from now, a month from now. But right now, <clears throat> looking at if, when I think about it, I'm, I'm so relaxed about it. I don't know why I'm relaxed, but I'm relaxed. What happens, you know, God will put me where I need to be and where I should be. I. Yeah, you can say that, and you know, I think just as a as anybody looking for a job, <laughs> knowing that you'll have options, you'll you know, it makes you more. It just makes you more relaxed, just knowing that you don't know that you're. Yeah. You know it's out there. Yeah. Were you pleased with the way you were used? Did you have any idea? When you got here, did you have a preconceived notion of what your role would be, and, and did you like the way it, it played out? Yeah, I knew I knew exactly what my role was going to be. Um, I knew I was going to go from being the first option to the third option, and you know I was going to have to embrace it, and that's exactly what I did. And I came in here and just trying to just be a positive influence on what they have already started to create around here, and just just help the team in any form I can. And, you know, as a competitor, um, you know, there's always times where you feel like you can do more and you want to do more, especially with sometimes during the game when you have things going. But you also look at it, you know, it's for the team. And this is a pretty successful team.